Hello, today I'll be showing you how to use the newest version of my Map Texture Replacer mod, version 2.1 in City Skylines 2. This mod makes it very easy to change and customize the look of your game with just a couple of clicks. So, first to install the mod, launch your game and then click on Paradox Mods from the main menu. And then go to the Browse tab and in the search box, type in Map Text and then sort by Most Subscribed. And from here, you can install the mod by adding it to your current playset. Next, you want to download some map texture packs for the mod. So to do that, just go back to the previous page. And here you can install any of these themes. In this video, I'll install the desert map theme and the home of chameleon theme by adding them also to my current playset. To finish installing everything, click here and relaunch the game. Once your game is restarted, go to the main game options. And if you see an entry for map texture replacer, the mod is fully installed. If you don't see it, you might need to open the PDX mods browser again and then restart the game again. So with the mod installed, I'll now make a new game from the main menu. So to access the mod and game, click on this icon next to the info panel button. So in this window, to switch to a pack, click on this base pack drop down here and then I can select the desert map theme like this and as you can see the entire look of the map changes. I can also select the other map theme I've installed the home of chameleon theme and see how the look changes as well. Next these drop downs let you customize the individual textures that are replaced so let's say I'd rather have the cliff texture of the desert map theme, I can just click on this drop down here and then select that. And I can see how it changes. I can also click load image and here I can select any PNG or JPEG image I have from my file system like this. And it applies it just like that. Next on here are the sliders, far, close and close dirt tiling. Pretty much these let you change the global tiling of these textures. Unfortunately, however, the game only really exposes these three specific tiling values. So for example, the far tiling value applies for all of the textures. So only changing the far grass tiling or only changing the far dirt tiling is not really possible. Likewise, this applies to the close tiling values as well, except for the close dirt tiling, which interestingly is able to be set. Also, a thing to note is that the, the close tiling values really are only for when the camera is really close to the ground, like this, so keep that in mind. Next to these sliders, this text box here also allows you to enter any numerical value you want, including values that are outside the range of the sliders. The mod in general also saves everything you've changed in this panel, so all your settings will be reapplied after a game restart. This mod also has support for the map editor and adds a new shortcut toggle for the mod in it. So inside the editor, just click on this new icon on the bottom toolbar here and the same window will appear with the same texture settings loaded. And you can change the textures just like in game. Note that the settings on the mod are saved globally and not per map. So if you're playing with multiple maps, you need to keep this in mind. So lastly, if you're an asset creator, you can make a custom map texture relatively easily. So to explain how to make a new pack, I'll show how I made the desert map theme. So for the theme, I set up a folder like this here and then made two subfolders, one for the texture pack itself and one for the listing information on PDX mods. So in the first folder here, these six grass, dirt and cliff PNG files here these are the terrain textures that will be replaced in game by the mod. So the PNG files with underscore base color at the end correspond to the main diffuse texture you see in game, such as the image of the sand itself, while the normal to the roughness map, which for example makes the sand texture look less flat. So next is the map texture config.json file. And if you open it up, it has a format like this, where the pack name property is the display name for the pack. And these down here are the tiling values that will load when the pack is loaded. Next, if I go to the properties folder, the publish configuration.xml file is the main configuration file for the listing of PDX mods. 
So the display name tag here is the name of the pack in PDX mods. Short, long description is pretty self-explanatory. The thumbnail tag is for the listing thumbnail. So for example, it's this icon.png file and the gallery images are these gallery one and gallery two images. Also, when making these gallery images, you need to make sure that these are less than one megabyte each. So next, the form link tag here is if you want to add a comment section to your listing. So pretty much if you want to do that, you'll need to make a forum post on the user mods part of the Parabox forums. So when the forum is right before publishing, you would make a new thread here. And then when posted, copy the link to the forum thread you made. I'm just pasting the map texture replacer thread as an example, but you would just paste the URL into the XML like this. Next is mod version. You'll want to leave it at 1.0 unless you're going to make an update, then you would change it. And later in this video, I'll cover what values in this file you need to change when doing that. This dependency tag is the mod ID for map texture replacer, so don't change this. This just makes sure that map texture replacer is downloaded with the pack. If it's not already downloaded and external link also is pretty self-explanatory. Currently, the game has no way in the UI to upload custom packages nor does the Paradox Mods website allow uploads. So we will need to manually upload using the game's mod publisher tool in the command line. Don't be scared off just yet. You'll only have to type in one command and I'll guide you how to use it. So first, we'll need to prepare a file somewhere else on our file system away from any project folders called pdx underscore account.txt. And this authentication file has two lines. In the first line, you wanna put your Paradox account email and in the second and last line, you'll want to put your Paradox account password. And again, be sure not to save this file anywhere in your project folders. With that done, next, I'll begin setting up the command. I'll paste into the terminal, and I'll also open the written guide of this, where I have more details about this process in a browser window. And as you can see, the format of the command that we'll need to set up looks like this. There's four file paths we'll need to fill in. So the first part of the command is the path to the game's mod publishing tool, which usually will be this path. Next is the publishing mode. For uploading new listings, you'll want to type publish. Next is the path to your publish configuration XML file for your texture pack. So to get the path, just right click on it and then select copy as path and then paste it here. Next type dash L and then the path to the PDX underscore account text file you made, then you want to type in dash C and then finally the path to the content of your pack where your actual textures are. So this folder here next, you want to check and make sure that all the paths you pasted in have quotation marks around them. And with that, we are finally done setting up the command we want to paste. So now we can just open up the terminal and then copy and paste this command in and let it run. And if it's successful, you'll see a message like this here when it's done. So let's say you want to update your map texture pack after publishing. What you want to do is first we want to open your publish configuration.xml and then you want to enter a value here for the mod ID tag. And to find the value for that tag, you would go to the Paradox Mods website and find the listing for your texture pack. So for a desert map theme, it would be this page here. And here the mod ID is this number. So I would basically go and copy this and then paste this in this mod ID field. The next thing to change is this mod version here. Then you would just, depending on how major your update is, you would just do like 1.01 or if it's like a major overhaul, you might want to do like 2.0 or something. Next, you want to you want to modify this change log tag. So I recommend just deleting all this and then just redoing it like that and then just say just it's a very minor update I would just put a format like this here and update it like that and then once you did that you can just go back to your main folder open the terminal again and then with the command you set up you would change this from publish to new version then you would go here copy it then paste that in the terminal press enter and when it completes successfully it should update the listing so that's basically how to use my map texture replacer mod. If you enjoy my mod, 
and or this overview video, consider liking, sharing this video, or supporting me with super thanks. Thank you for watching.